Ever since the Inception, Rule 1 was part of many great storylines in Rocket League. Dethroning Falcons in Mina, the longest overtime in LAN history and much more were possible because of their talented roster. However, that roster is changing next season and in this video I will tell you everything you need to know about it. So guys, on this channel I discuss a lot of rumors that are going on in the Rocket League esports scene, but unfortunately this time it's not rumors, it's reality. It was Rule 1 posting yesterday this official statement right here. We have parted ways with Ruvas and Kilias. From everyone else at Rule 1, we want to thank the twins for being part of the team and wish them the best of luck with their next steps. So as of right now, the only guys being left on the team are Marcin and Arms. The twins will be officially off this team and we have no idea what their next step is going to be. And we also don't know if Rule 1 keeps on competing in Mina. They should have two players and would only need to sign one. But obviously these two guys were their star players and I really wonder what's going on now because there's no spot on Fel open so where do these guys go obviously if they pick up a suitable third they can make a new good team but that's all up in the air for now first of all what questions can we answer well there was this post right here a couple of days ago where sunless announced he's retiring from content indefinitely so he will focus on his mental and physical health and therefore he's not going to be around anymore and as a co-founder of rule one a lot of people thought that might be the reason why rule one maybe is missing the funds now to pay ruwa and Killers, but in Civic said this right here just to be clear this has nothing to do with sunless tweet in civic and sunless if you didn't know that made rule one together so they are both the co-founders and that is why you can trust this tweet right here but it's also if you didn't know that by the way that sunless retired also very sad because he was always pushing that uh, just like in civic having good rocket league in mina and supporting these young players and it's just sad but in civic by the way also didn't say how he wants to continue with the organization now and it's also unclear if sunless is still financially supporting this organization so this could end up very bad i really hope it doesn't for now that's all we have from the higher ups but the players also wrote something and it is kilias first of all who said our contract ended with rule one today you also have the reason why he left and his brother the exact same ruvas also says his contract ended as well so the twins i guess didn't want to extend because i can't imagine rule one to not wanting to extend and therefore i could also imagine they have something lined up something bigger than rule one as they are still very young i can't imagine them to move to another region it's gonna be very interesting what these players have lined up but for rule one the organization is looking a bit grim if you guys have any more information than i do let me know in the comments also let me know where you think ruvas and kilias are gonna end up and now since there's no rlcs action at the moment let's take a look at a bubble tournament this weekend because it was quite interesting it was the draw number eight this time around and in there we had torment minions which is a new roster of Com, JNAPS, and Nolly, and they made the grand finals immediately, but then they lost to Shopify Rebellion with their new roster with Justin on there. And this is Shopify Rebellion's fourth win of the draw. So this is the draw eight. They won half of that. Very impressive showing by them, especially because they do it with a different roster almost every time. And once again, they took the dub here, but don't take away too much from bubble tournaments as they are not all high caliber RLCS teams playing. And it's first and foremost, a great way to try out on a high level if you want to form a new team. By the way, Dignitas was also playing and they had Evo, Aris and Arsenal on there. So SG probably now without Arsenal and he is trying out for this roster. Aris also in there. This could very well be their lineup for the next season. However, they did not have the best result. They only got to the quarterfinals and then lost to Torment's minions. And then as of last, I had it in my most recent video that k -Cup was going to announce their roster after my video releases and they did exactly that. It was just like we expected it to be the Tira, Atau and Rice on there with Farah as a coach. Farah was already announced, but Atau and Rice weren't. And there you have it. This is the new roster of K-Cop. They made a five and a half minute video. So definitely a worthy announcement. Go check that out if you are interested. And if you enjoyed this video right here, leave us up. It would really mean a lot. And I'll see you guys next time.